Lady TikTok. I feel so old. That one's good though. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. Today we've got a brand new Ram 3500 Limited from OzMV. This is a Limited 3500 long bed. So the extra long chassis on this one with the eight foot bed compared to the six foot four beds that we're used to here in Australia through Ram Trucks Australia. This one's being imported through OzMV, like I said, so we're doing a lot of work with these guys. This one's going over to Perth for a customer, and Damon's actually flown over, delivered the car yesterday, and he's on his way back over. So this is from one side of Australia to another. He'll definitely be testing out this new setup that we've just done. Initial feedback from him is he hasn't stopped smiling since he's picked the vehicle up. I reckon this is one of the best looking Rams we've done here at Big Dog Build. Damon came to me at Big Dog Builds and wanted to get the Big Dog treatment pretty much. So we've gone from the start, he wanted good suspension, wheel tire combo. He tows a lot of boats over in Western Australia and he thought that he would go straight to the Pintop Carly lift kit. So we've gone the 3.25 inch lift. He's gone for the massive 37, 13 and a half, 18 mud terrain Toyo tires wrapped on some 305 NV 18 by nine neg 12 offset. With the size lift that we've done on Damon's truck, we've had to do some trimming to make these wheels turn and he still have off-road ability. But we've nailed this out, still kept it nice and clean. And this truck with the tire size combo, the long bed features of this vehicle and these wheel tire combo, I think just, I don't know, he's, he's nailed it to a T. The Carly full system with the works, the base kit includes your front shocks, obviously an adjustable pan hard to keep the diff centered as well as the radius arm drops on this 3.25 inch kit. You've also got your brake line extensions there, rear brake line relocation tabs, as well as your res mounts for the massive 2.5 Carly Tune King shocks. Adding optional upgrades, we've gone for the Carly radius arms. So these fabricated radius arms are definitely a masterpiece. They're almost too pretty to put on a truck, to be honest, but we've then gone for the high mount and low mount stainless steel steering stabilizers from Carly. These things are really high quality and will last the lifetime. With the steering conversions here in Australia, adding these steering stabilizers definitely firm up the wheel, make the feedback from hitting potholes or um, yeah, gutters or bumps on the road definitely won't come through the steering wheel as much. So we've then gone for the Carly diff guard on the front and we're waiting for a torsion sway bar to come from Carly as well. While the truck arrived here, Dane was a little bit early, so he decided to get rid of all the chrome off this vehicle. So being a limited, it actually had a lot of chrome. There was even chrome underneath the windows on this one. He had chrome strips down the side. The limited certainly add a bit of bling to these trucks, which work on some trucks, but when you don't like chrome, we can delete all of that. We've painted all of the chrome on this one. We've done a color combination being the factory white from Ram and then the satin black as well. So a lot of the badges are satin black, inside the grill satin black. We've gone and added the off-road creative front bar which is also added to the awesome colour theme of this vehicle. So this is actually powder coated satin black and then it's been painted satin black as well. So the finish on this one is beautiful. There's no um, welding marks or press marks or splatter or anything like that going on here. By rubbing it back and, and painting it definitely adds that that touch to it. This matches to the badges as well as the front grill really nicely. This bar's got the hoop on it. We've also added two laser lamp elite nine sentinels to the bar. A massive output on these massive nine inch lights. The wiring run nice and neatly through the hoop on this vehicle. Inside the bar we've also got the 30 inch steady single row light bar as well as the steady two C4 cube LED lights. Great combination here then added the carbon off-road 15,000 pound scout winch with the synthetic rope. So Damon's definitely ready to hit the tracks over in WA. I can't wait to see this one on the beaches. If you need to use that winch, I better be getting videos of it, mate. You'll notice on top of this roof rack, 
really sets it off running the Big Dog Builds accessory rack. So we've gone and installed the accessory rack which also has the four and flush mount steady work lights. So two each side. On the back of this rack we then added the two steady 26 inch work lights. So these are a great option. All run through our favourite Switch Pro switching unit up on the dash. On the front of the rack we go for the laser lamp 51 inch LED light bar, the triple R28 this model is. It's a massive range, I think it's 1.6 kilometre range down the road. We used to get a lot of feedback off the bonnet running LED lights that flooded a lot. These laser lamps have got such directional um, output that there's no reflection off the bonnet whatsoever. Getting the light bar just in front of the fin on the roof means that there's no wind noise through the roof rack like some other brands out there on the market. And we're really, really, really happy with how these products are turning out. If you're interested in one of these guys, get in touch, they're going quickly. Up on top of the roof rack, you'll notice that we've gone and added our two whips, this one being the 1.2 metre GME UHF whip, as well as the 1.2 metre GME Cellfi. So this is the Telstra Cellfi Go. With the 1.2 metre whip, you're going to get mobile phone boosted coverage wherever Damon travels. It'll be interesting to hear his feedback on this on the way back over to WA. With the GME and the 1.2 metre Delphi unit, both on GME folding brackets, this looks great on top of our racks. We've got brackets to suit these. They also tuck down and fold away really nice and neatly. I think the total height of this vehicle with the brackets folded down was just over 2.2 metres. So surprisingly, you'll be able to get into a few car parks still. With the whips up, you're up there at almost a, a 3.5 metre high. So definitely have to remember to fold these ones down when you're coming across low bridges or car parks or wherever you're intending on driving. But having the ability to fold them up, get on the road, get out of town and have the range of the UHF as well as the cell fire booster definitely helps. Being the limited model from Oz MV, this vehicle already had the tonneau cover on the back, so just a tri-fold cover for now. It's also got the factory ram air assist, like I said, as the rear suspension. I think Damon might be going a custom canopy next year sometime, and when that time comes, we'll get it back in, we'll reset the leaf springs, adjust the suspension, probably give the shocks a service. Guys, remember these King shocks with the Carly tune are fully serviceable. We recommend going in every six to 12 months, depending on how much use you are doing on these shocks. They're fully rebuildable. Remember that, you keep on top of these things. It's like a race car, you keep on top of it, these things are just gonna outperform anything else on the market. It's exactly the same with your suspension. You pay a little bit more, you do certain services each year on your truck, just like you would your body or anything else that, that goes around. Slip this in, we've got service agents around the country that we can recommend, and these trucks will outperform anything else on the road, I guarantee it. If you've got a Ram on order guys, definitely get in touch today. We're very confident that we are building these things to suit the Australian conditions to a T. We've got options to suit anyone's budget with any sort of setup you're chasing, whether it be a full-time tourer, a weekend warrior, or just something great as a daily to drive around. It's got a tough stance on the road. We look forward to hearing from you and building it the way that you want it. <laughs> we just nicknamed them sausage dogs. Oh well, yeah, and then we put these big wheels on and it doesn't look like sausage dog anymore. <laughs> if you've got a sausage dog... <laughs> <laughs> it's long, like, shh, shh, looks like a sausage dog. <laughs>